Hi Kiki, uh, great to see you here on our YouTube land and uh, welcome to everyone who's going to be the fly on the wall during the treatment today. So we're going to get started. And thank you so much Kiki for allowing us to share this treatment for you today. We're really honoured to do this for you. So, uh, so no. Okay. I'm doing that. Yeah. I'm 100% of 100% of Kiki for this session. And hold. Oh, not quite. Maybe Kiki's not 100% of 100% of Kiki. Okay. That's okay. Oh, okay. There's a flower essence coming up. It's a little flannel flower. So when you're watching this, Kiki, give yourself a hug. You deserve it. Little flannel flowers for when we need softness and hugs in our life. Four drops. of Kiki for this session. And hold. Beautiful. Okay, we're in. Okay, let's see where we need to start. Okay, do we need to start with a goal or an affirmation? Adrenal survival, deep survival, hidden deep survival, inflammation. Um, okay, tuning fork combo. So we need to get a goal online. So small intestine energy, small intestines in the fire element, and liver. Okay, so liver energy is, uh, it's the rage, anger, internalized as depression, and that often feeds that imbalance with love, joy, hate. So it gets it out of whack. So liver, small intestines. Feeling helpless. Okay, so there's two main emotions with this combination, feeling helpless and irresponsible. Mountain Devil is the flower essence. It's an Australian bush flower essence. None of the negatives of mountain, because mountain devil is a really strong energy. It's often about hatred, anger, revenge, suspicions, that sort of thing. But none of that is actually showing up. It's the positive that we need to embed into your, into your system. So I'll just read this and then we'll do the tuning forks. I make the commitment to kindly, gently, lovingly and supportively recognize and acknowledge my feelings. I will also accept forgive and love myself and others. I make the commitment to kindly, gently, lovingly and supportively recognize and acknowledge my feelings. I will also accept, forgive and love myself and others. Maybe the move's been really hard. Making friends and that sort of thing. Okay, which one do we need to do? We need to run. Okay, so it's the liver meridian we need to work with. Okay, we need to flush it. Okay. 
Okay. A lot of real sadness sort of hitting. I'm quite despondent. Mm. So feeling helpless, irresponsible. So they're not showing up as a current pattern, so it must be an old pattern. So let's go have a. So, um, part two. Oh, okay. So it's an old pattern that sort of start. Okay, so five to six to seven to eight to nine, eight to nine years old. Eight to eight and a half, eight and a half to nine. Okay. Yeah, right, and hormones kicked in early. Okay, so. Right, oh, love, love, a lost one. Yeah. So at eight and a half years old, something happened that stopped your brain being able to easily laugh and easily have fun. So it created like the ability to go into that sort of despondency and helplessness, which of course can then create anxiety in the future. Because when you feel helpless, you don't know if you're gonna be okay and who's going to be there to help you. So if you lost someone at a young age, then it can set up either the need to be in control. So therefore, yeah, okay. So therefore, sometimes that feeling of irresponsibility is just not being that, well, doing anything outside the norm, like moving countries can be a huge uh, feeling like someone in the family or someone that you admire or someone that you love is going to be picking on you for making such a choice. even though you're entitled to do anything for your happiness and hold out for me. Yeah. So no connection in the corpus callosum. So brain having a really hard time to bring in logical, creative thinking. And wanting to run away, so that's escape, submission, freeze. Okay, we need uh, five corners. Five corners is a flower essence that helps to bring up, uh, bring about personal power and integration. Yeah, and it's about five drops you need. So that's a fairly decent one-off dose. Bonus one. It's quite a feeling of numbness, you know, like mm. emotional numbness. Like trying to compartmentalise? Yeah, just like just shutting down. Just If I can't feel it, I can't feel it. I can't be hurt. Type. Just that. But mm. different from the celestial circuit, oh, shut, a different yeah, thing to that. Yeah, okay. Okay. So. We've got that flower essence hologram online. Now we might go into some survival stuff and check the psychological reversal. Okay, how are the adrenals? Hold, no, hold. <laughs> They're a bit shattered. Hold, mm. hold. Okay, okay. So survival switching, deep survival and hidden deep survival, which means a sensor, there's just sensory overload. So no wonder the body's gone into numbness. It's easier not to feel mm. rather than feel overloaded sometimes. 
So then it's just that trudging through every day, getting through energetically. So the first little area showing up is the anterior cingulate gyrus fold. And that is where a lot of our obsessions and compulsions set up. It's where we want to be perfect socially, so in social situations. It's the part of the brain that picks on ourselves when we're not when we're not perfect, when we're not. And that's escape submission freeze. So it doesn't make it easy to be social when we want to run away before we even get somewhere. Oh, I don't know, at a younger age, just feeling unheard. So that numbness was like being in the background, not heard. Yeah. If I just keep out of the way, that type of... If you don't yeah. say it, you can't be ignored, you can't, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, and that might have set up like a low lip. You know, some, I'm sure you've experienced this as well, you know, some people don't recognise depression in their life, uh, even though it can have been there in a low level for a long time. So, because the subcostal gyrus is showing up, and that's that little part of the brain to do with genetic depression, rage and anger. So, you know, either outwardly as anger or inwardly as depression. And that's one of the ones that we can actually inherit through our genes from parents. Okay. So we can have these genetic emotional tendencies, but they can often need to be activated by something. It's wanting to run away so it's like the brain once again numbness would rather be numb rather than speaking the truth and um, being ignored and then feeling frustrated and angry because you're not being listened to Next one's the reticular activating system. Okay. This minor shark cruise on the ankles, the right ankle's showing up being linked in with um, low serotonin levels. Serotonin is calming and nurturing. So when we have serotonin whizzing through the body, we're less likely to feel pain. Because I think because it relaxes us, so we're less likely to be tense. Might just stack in some foot movements as part of the circuit. Okay. So the foot energy has just gone straight into the amygdala into a pain and punishment circuit. I don't know if you can tune in, Sanu. Um, like I remember when my sister went to London and it was the same time as Pauline Hanson was really vocally expressive and she moved to the UK and she really copped a backlash as an Aussie 
because of Pauline Hanson, which Carmel did not have any political views. I'm sort of wondering whether that's part of what might be going on with Kiki, the American mm. political climate, which is so in everyone's face. Yeah. So therefore going to the UK and... And feeling like a representative of America and people... Mm. commenting and judging of all the stuff that's going yeah. on there which I sort of picked up yesterday is that the energy of, mm -hmm. sort of because you've only been in England a short while that you've still got some energy attached back home which mm. is where there is so much mass consciousness of depression and anxiety and fear and anger yeah. and division so yeah, it's like it's all being brought to the surface in really huge ways yeah. at the moment Anything anyone yeah. wants to speak, they do. And you're not responsible for the actions being taken back home. So if people keep needing to comment about it, or you know, it can be quite a fearful thing waiting for them to say something. So sort of anticipatory anxiety as well. Mm. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're not responsible for what decisions are made back home. Yeah, because I found that last year when uh, we did our seven weeks travelling down through South America and the States and just about every American almost apologised for the state of America at the time, which was sort of interesting because we weren't putting anything on and we just find things a little bit amusing occasionally, mm. but we see it from, you know, another country's perspective. We're not living there going through it on a daily basis. Okay, so this is a reticular activating system again. Uh, noradrenaline is just running constantly through the background, so there's that expectation of the stress continuing. And it's uh, so then the spot on the foot, once again, uh, there's a spot underneath the foot, kidney one and spleen one, that combination in this circuit's to do with focusing and directing your attention and not being able to let go of things. So it's fine if you use that energy for good, <laughs> but when it's in there just making you focus on things that aren't adding to your life or adding to your goals and dreams and purpose, then it can just be a distraction. Something else in PVSS. Okay, let's go check out some conscious pathways of the brain. Actually, before we do that, what about psychological reversal? Yeah. Want, need, think, safe, believe, deserve, trust. So it's just safety. Okay. It is safe to let go of this problem and hold. It is safer to keep this problem and hold. Okay. So your brain's setting up these survival patterns to keep you safe. Unfortunately, it can take energy away from your brain, so you can feel fuzzy headed and not switched on. Of course, that can be the thyroid. I'll check the thyroid shortly too and just see whether thyroid liver involved in that foggy brain as well. And see whether the digestion's down because if we're not digesting properly, then those food particles can mess with our energy as well. So the safety is deliberately switching. So the uh, believing that it's safer for you to keep your issues is switching off your pleasure reward centers so that you don't accidentally relax and enjoy yourself. <laughs> so you need to make it easier for your brain to go, life is good. Is there a flower essence around for safety? No. Cheerful? No. 
Okay, so. Okay, so the first hippocampal circuit's showing up. This one's usually fear of failure or fear of success. So let's check fear of failure. And hold. Success. <laughs> 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 it's funny how we're so fearful of success. Oh, it's just the tall poppy syndrome. Yeah, there's so much attached to that about it. and what you're going to have to do if you're successful. Who's going to still like you if you're successful? Who's going to not like you? And so much attached to that about being afraid of being successful. Yeah, and I think with, you know, Kiki's doing study in the background as well. And there's that, um, uh, that challenge of charging for your services, that challenge of feeling worthy or... Uh, deserving, I picked up earlier. Deserving, yeah. Deserving, yeah. yeah. And it's a big thing. I yeah. think that's what stopped the balance to start, I think. Getting deserving of the balance. Oh, wow. Once we did the okay. lessons, it was Yeah, good. nice. Yeah, right, because there was that real sadness initially, mm. just uh, real knot in, you know, pit in the knot of my, you know, that, that, yes, exactly. So obviously it stops me from speaking my words. <laughs> Use your big words. Yes. <laughs> Use your words, Madonna. <laughs> okay, so let's go have a look. So let's recheck. So fear of success. Or is there a big thing around that? we need to do and hold oh yeah okay so there's something extra there that's just not a little simple amygdala balance we need to do so adrenal survival deep survival hidden deep survival things are isolation sharpness and screen out keep no, now we need a tuning fork combo so it, same as before different okay so in relation to the fear of success hard energy Uh, heart thyroid yeah and in uh in the five elements heart energy feeds thyroid energy so if your heart energy is low because of self-worth self-esteem self-belief self-love then it's hard to but oh, the thyroid struggles energetically so heart triple warmer but then fear of living up to someone else's expectations okay. And not just the boss, obviously. No, no, I think it's my family. Yeah. yeah. Of not being able to live up to their expectations. I need to fix that. <coughs> right, so it's not showing up as your emotional state, but it's someone else's emotional state that affects you. It's the, the state of arrogance and ignorance and having to, you have to get past that, that's not yours to own. Vine is the flower essence. I always think of vine, is, is that the pussycat one? Sort of, um, yeah, I think it is. It's sort of like you think about the um, personality of a cat. <laughs> you know, your life is their life and you only exist to support them. It's like there's someone like that in your in your background that's really affected who you are and it's time to let go of those beliefs. You are not here to serve anyone else. You are here for, you're what here you to serve to you and the planet. Right. Yeah, that's right. And, and it's one of those things, like do you have a process where you go through, like when you have a belief system, even discovering the belief system in the first place? Because some people are unaware that they even have belief systems. So therefore they don't know if their belief systems are serving them and where those belief systems come from. Have you ever found a... Well, I'll just sort of say that um, if they're not mine, that I don't need to you know, try to live up to that or to, to serve that, as you just said before. Um, and I'll send healing to all those parts of me that believe that I need to.
Yeah, so this is sort of saying that there's been someone in your past who's been authoritarian, tyrannical, and maybe the bullies from primary school, it could even be that sort of thing, um, who have made you believe something about yourself that just isn't true. So it's taking on that shame from somewhere else that really isn't yours. So it's created a bit of a mental rigidity. So some of the beliefs you have, they're so deeply ingrained that you truly imbibe truly believe it with every part of your being I so but it's mainly the positive we need to read but it's just but you need to sort of think about who are these people and are they still creating an emotional charge in your body and if they are we need to start or you need to start doing some visualizations or some some processes to let them go there's, there's just something in here but it's not saying I need to read the whole lot but I'll read the second part Kiki makes the commitment to kindly gently lovingly and supportively accept that true power is gentle and loving and is so secure that it only supports the empowerment of others Kiki makes the commitment to kindly gently lovingly and supportively except that true power is gentle and loving and is so secure that it only supports the empowerment of others. Mm. So maybe part of that belief has been that bullies are the strong people and that bullies own the world and that bullies are the one who always get the power and they always get the success, uh, whereas true power is loving and true power is giving and it's a whole different energy and if you, that becomes your new belief system if it's and it probably is already there since you're studying energetic healing work so but it's about really owning it and getting rid of all the fragments that don't support that in your life there's some frustration and anger about that actually mm. so. mm. I feel that it's been so much has been taken away from you that you could have experienced because of that program. Yeah. You never got to quite be where you wanted to be emotionally, joyfully. It was like a barrier kept coming down. Mm. As you got close, it was like, nope. It really brought up some anger. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's not yeah. saying it's passive, it's saying that there is some anger in there. Okay. What do we need to do with the tuning forks? Uh, figure eights, chakras, meridians. Um, <laughs> nothing particularly, so I might just... Just wake up the energy. So much rage coming up, it's like it's trying to be tamped down a little bit rather than letting it. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so maybe given that, I might just run the liver meridians yeah. backwards a couple of times. <coughs> just quench that rage and anger. It's okay to feel angry and just do 